Well, hello there, person. Welcome to Look at it, What's New with Wraithbinder. Uh, already, we can see that the bots are harvesting matter points now, so those all those bots just went and harvested a little bit of matter. This guy's stuck. I don't know what he's doing. I started off with mat maximum matter points because I've got a little hack in my saves file that tells me tells it to give me some matter points every at the beginning. So I'm testing out these new bomb animations I'm working on. They're not finished though. So a few issues. So um, that's really cool that the bots now harvest a little bit of matter. And then we've got this screen here that shows the stats for where is it? There we go. This is showing us stats for like how many people, how many kills, deaths, assists you've got. Steals is the number of times you've stolen a base. Matter is how much matter you've harvested. Damage, is how much damage you've done. Experience, is how much experience you've gained. Your level, your current level based on your experience, and then how many credits you've also gained in the match. Uh, so that is kind of the, what I'm calling the stats menu for now. And um, it'll look better. It'll, I'm sure that'll that'll be, be improved in the future. Um, but the point of that is to give you some stats anytime you want them right on the match and also at the very end of the match so when we when we battle at the very end um, battle to the end of the match um, it basically does a nice tr screen transition now and then shows that recap or that stats menu so um, and it does also has a nice smooth countdown so in the in the past it was kind of abrupt you went from battling all of a sudden to boom you're just teleported to the middle and then people are holding their hands in the air and you're like okay I guess the battles over but now it's pretty neat because you've got this whole see there we go we've actually finished the match we won and it does this nice countdown the screen changes its colors and everything and um, it changes the, the way the shader works and then it does this sort of explosion. All of this is going to be improved and nicer. But the whole point is that it's a little bit smoother now. You've got this countdown till the end. And then also you've got this. The stats menu shows up at the end. So, um, And it's really nice to be seeing the bots harvest a little bit of matter here. Because it's and now matter is a really important part of this game. You use it to run. You use it to levitate. You use it to throw your bombs. Throw uh, out ghost swords. Shoot your blaster pistols. Everything uses matter points. Even building buildings uses matter points and you've got to harvest master matter by hitting other stones or hitting players uh, so it's cool to see the bots smart enough now to at least harvest a little bit of matter there's they're a little bit bot -y still they're kind of robotic about how they just immediately go and harvest some matter but still it's neat to have this sort of this functional and in place where they can um, where they can harvest that and be sort of like an actual player would you know an actual player would know what they're doing and at least harvest some matter and do some damage and all that etc um so that's what's new with wraith binder it's um it's been a really fruitful week um and one of the next things i'm going to be working on is teaching the bots to be even smarter about how they use their um their abilities to move so if we go back to um four versus four mode we'll see that basically the bots um they're i don't know if i can actually catch a bot doing this right now but they're not very smart about how they use their blink their levitate and their boots the mobility items um, um as a player i know that i can harvest some matter and then run right through a wall so if i've got some walls um up here is a good example like this is some gates right they're kind of blocking me but i can run through them this is really neat, but not not if I run out of matter. So if I'm running around, running around, I run out of matter. I can't run through the wall. But I guess I could. I had more matter than I thought. Let's try that again. See, eh, eh. I can't get through. If I harvest more matter, then I can. So the bots can be smarter about how they use their items by basically um, increasing the intelligence of their pathfinding. So right now their pathfinding will stop when it hits something like a gate, like a gate, like this. That something's in their in their path. But what it needs to do is pathfind through that and then increase the cost that it would, uh, would it, it would take them in matter points to, to pathfind through this, these particular points. Like walking around the map, all this does not use matter points. But then when you hit this, it needs to cost some matter points for the pathfinding algorithm. So that'll be interesting to kind of make the bots smarter about how they're using their their mobility i think they'll they're immediately they'll be a lot smarter they'll be they'll get across the map faster um and i think it'll be a really neat thing so that's one of the things they'll be next to be working on um 
So there you have it. This new stats window and um, and also how it's tracking the stats, right? It tracks your kills, tracks your deaths, your assists, the times you've stolen a base, how much matter you've gained and your damage. That's really neat. So that's all for this time. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, next time we'll come back with some more updates, updates to making the game Wraith Binder. Check you later.